Today, I'm going to be spending 100 days as an Enderman. You see, I've been captured along with a ton of other Endermen and thrown into Farmer Unicorn's insane Enderman farm. Using my powers as an Enderman, my goal is to escape this farm within 100 days while I avoid getting caught so I don't get sent to one of Unicorn Man's slaughterhouses. Now, before we begin, tons of you guys guessed that we would do 100 Day Enderman as the next video. If you think you know what our next video is going to be, let us know in the comments down below and you might get a shout out in the next video. Okay, so I am officially an Enderman. Now that I'm an Enderman, I've actually gone ahead and gained some powers. But before we get into that, welcome to 100 Days as an Enderman, where I'm going to survive in this farm for 100 days and hopefully not get caught and murdered and then fail this challenge. In which case, you probably won't see this video. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead here and let's do this. Looking around right off the bat, we know... Oh, oh. so Unicorn, who's right there, Farmer Unicorn, runs this farm to kill Endermen for their Ender Pearl. So he goes ahead and he murders them, takes their Ender Pearls, and brings them to the Ender Pearl shop that is just outside of the walls of this building and he then sells them so that's why i'm shutting this farm down if i could shut this farm down while doing it on my way out i will definitely have won this challenge so right off the bat i can already see some awesome awesome stuff around this map so let's go ahead let's test out our enderman powers apparently if i hit v i can go ahead and teleport <gasps> oh my god i can look at that Okay, so cool. With the power of V, I can teleport. Now, luckily for us, the Endermen in this version, right, of the game are not affected by daylight. When I morph into them, they don't get burned by the day or hurt by the day or teleport around. So that's great news. So I can actually stay as an Enderman during the day and not be limited tonight like I originally thought I was going to be. But for the first day, we got to go ahead and build a survival bunker for exactly moments like that. When Farmer Unicorn comes in to collect Ender Pearls from the Endermen, well, we got to be able to survive. So uh, we need some sort of safety bunker we can get to. And I'm assuming this back corner away from the door is probably the best place to put it so luckily as an enderman i should be able to honestly just dig a hole straight down now i normally wouldn't suggest that for obvious reasons but as an enderman i can just teleport in and out so that would actually give me a place i could get to that farmer unicorn can't get to so let's go ahead let's break just a little bit of this tree here we don't want to break too too much five logs should be enough to get started here wooden pickaxe perfect now let's go in the hole and we're gonna go ahead and just dig down a little bit more here now we can just go ahead and break some stone around perfect now we can teleport back up i believe yep we can teleport right up and we're back on the surface so now there's an easy way in and out that only i can do because as an enderman only i can do that there we go so now we get the stone pickaxe and the stone axe and uh it's time to work on this survival base safety bunker if you will and then tomorrow on day two i'm gonna really put the focus on exploring this place trying to figure out what these buildings are and seeing if i can find an escape route out of this farm so let's go Okay, and it is day two. We need to go ahead and actually start scouting out this place. I went ahead and pretty much did a basic survival base. I can't teleport down to it, so I need to get, like, hay or something. Because every time I go down, I take damage. But let me go ahead and show you. So, pretty basic. We got some uh, iron being smelted right now. We have four furnaces, crafting table, and we cut out a room. Nice and easy. We also have access to a nice cave system down here. Luckily, we have this, so I can... Can I teleport down here? Yeah, I can. I can teleport around in here. So, we got some nice big cave systems, different lava pools. So, I bet we're going to be able to find some good stuff there. So, anyway, let's go ahead. Let's head to the surface because I want to do some exploring around the place to see if we can start to understand and find our escape route from this farm so usually in the past the escape route is fairly complex and i usually need tnt to blast my way out the front gate of the facility and i'm assuming gotta be a front gate somewhere let me get to the top of this tree oh i like it kudgy oh the guard oh the guard get up here oh that didn't work uh get up here again there we go we're in okay we got up oh unicorn's right there back on the tree Okay, that was insane. There's the front gate right there. Okay, so yeah, it's made of stone walls. So we're gonna need TNT to technically blast through that. So if I can't blow that wall up, I cannot escape this place. And also, I can't destroy the Ender Pearl shop outside, which totally deserves to be destroyed, seeing as he's murdering Endermen for Ender Pearls. Anyway, from here, let's make our way around this place to start checking it out. So let's teleport around. So I know Unicorn's in that tower, so we wanna be careful there. Let's teleport onto this roof here. Watch out. Oh, there's cameras. I gotta be careful of these cameras here. Okay, so I see Unicorn is still in that tower. So I wanna be somewhat careful so it seems like there are a bunch of numbered buildings around that i'm assuming with a lot of confidence are slaughterhouses now in the past unicorn has thrown me into some crazy crazy slaughterhouses here's a few just as an example yeah throw that 
insane. So I'm going to have to find some way to not get caught and go to those. There also appears to be like the big TNT vault. There appears to be a barn. I'm assuming this is Unicorn's house. Pretty dang nice house. And yeah, there's not really much else beyond that. There's this tower here, but I don't know what's in it. Unicorn's in it, but I don't know what's actually in it. And there's a few other buildings around that I just genuinely have no clue what they're for. We're going to have to slowly figure it out. So I want to teleport over there real quick because this is the first building I kind of want to get a grasp on here. So let me just... Okay, so we're inside. There's a few ender cow. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Looks like there's an upstairs. So yeah, there is this place is pretty straightforward. I mean, you got it looks like just a basic barn. There is slaughterhouses. I just need to actually figure out where I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff I need to complete the escape here. I guess we just gotta keep looking around for different Oh, big of the duffel. Oh no, it's a password code. I don't know what the code is. Well, I can't even get in there. That's probably where I'm getting one of the items I need to escape. But anyway, without further ado, it is time now that we've gone ahead, we've got a basic base set up. We have a basic idea of how this map operates. And starting tomorrow, it's time to go ahead and try Unicorn's crazy farm map that he built out and see if we can escape. Okay, so it is day number three and it is time to start trying to plan our escape and get out of here. So my first plan of action is to work our way backwards from what we need to how we escape. This is the best way to get out of these types of puzzles. So let me explain what I mean. I know that my way outside is using TNT on this stone gate out front to blast my way through. So working my way back, I need to go check out the TNT vault, which is right there. And then if that is locked, which uh, there's a guard next to it, so I gotta wait for him to leave. I'm just teleport up here. Okay, we'll teleport in, boom, and we're in. So I can see that to get the TNT, I'm gonna need a code lock. So my goal from this point forward is to find that code lock somehow and usually that means that something you know like i'm gonna need to do something else to get that code lock but that's how i figure this out i work my way backwards and i slowly solve this so perfect we're gonna have to go find the code to this and it could be anywhere so we're gonna go start checking around a few places and the place i'm going to check happens to be unicorn man's house so unicorn's house happens to be where the first code is for a lot of things so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna teleport back up top here and we're gonna go from like platform to platform here now this is unicorn's house looks like the top is completely covered off it is so to get in i do have to go through the front door and i do have to fight his guards i don't currently have the weapons to take on the guards so let me go ahead and quickly go back to the base and see if we can quickly make ourselves an iron sword to take on these guards one more acquired and we're good boom just like that we got ourselves an iron sword let's go ahead let's make our way over to the house and let's kill these guards wait could i just teleport past them no because there's carpets i can't teleport past them okay so we're gonna have to take them on ourselves here oh they do a lot luckily i can teleport can i wait hold on okay we ate now take them on oh they have far range okay we need to hurry up and fight these guys ah! oh god teleport back outside fight me oh i can't even hit them okay there we go thank god i can teleport around oh why didn't i teleport and we're back in please don't follow me please don't follow me dang it do you not see me Enemy spotted. Uh, he definitely sees me Oh, he's dead. What did he drop? He dropped an iron helmet, which I don't need. But he also dropped, it looks like, more void juice. Okay, cool. So these guys are definitely killable. So let's kill this guy and then look for this code. Okay, perfect. So now we can go ahead. Uh, I saw the ruckus you were causing on my cameras. And great. We're caught. Go around tussling with my, my guards. Me not know about it. The lucky thing is, is I know exactly what happens here. So if you've watched our past hundred days, luckily when we get caught, we are not just executed. Unless we try to run, in which case he will execute us. But as long as we follow him, he's just going to bring us to a slaughterhouse. And so long as we can survive that slaughterhouse and complete his challenge, we get to survive. I won't lie. I'm a little bit nervous. Come on. Get on in here. Okay, we're going in. Oh, no. I'm closed in. Oh, what is this? Oh, wait, what? Now, trust me. You are not the first bad apple I witnessed today. I have loads and cards of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a few of you a chance at redemption. Go ahead and get yourself on in there. I'm going to go and find myself another bad apple to come in, and you twos are going to butt heads to the death. Excuse me? So he's going to get another Enderman, and I have to fight them to the death? Well, I'm glad I made at least an iron helmet, and I have an iron sword, but oh my god. They usually don't start off this brutal. I won't lie. All right. Right on over here. Here comes the person. I'm going to teleport over here. You know the drill. I told you what you do. Go on in there. You fight for your life, boy. All right. Go on. Oh god. Here we go. I guess we're fighting. <laughs> you just get going whenever you feel like Oh, God. Teleport up here. Gotta get... Whoop! Oh, I got him! Oh! Get in the water! Come on, get... Oh! Go over here! Go over here! Oh, he's in the water. He's gotta be hurt. He's gotta be really hurt. Oh, he's teleporting to me. He's in the water again. Come on. Oh, he teleported. He's running! Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, he teleported. Come on, get him! This is loads of fun to watch. 
He, he missed. There we go. Oh, Woo! oh, we got him. He's dead. Well, well, I'll be. That was that was interesting. Come on, you you done earned your freedom. Come on in. You, you okay, partner? All right, listen. Let's get you on back to your pen, and no more teleporting out of your pen. You understand? Uh, yeah. Anyway. So we survived that slaughterhouse. Luckily, that wasn't overly difficult, though I will say my health did get pretty low at some point. So I'm just glad to be alive so we can continue to try and find a way to escape this place. Okay, well, that really didn't go as planned, but we survived. Anyway, this place is insane. Farmer Unicorn has created the ultimate Enderman killing farm. There are a total of 10 different slaughterhouses all dedicated to killing Endermen for their Ender Pearls here on this farm. I have to do everything in my power not to be sent to one of these places or this challenge is potentially over. Beyond the slaughterhouses, I've also confirmed that there's a security tower in the middle of the farm. Farmer Unicorn uses this security tower to access the security cameras and capture me, which is how I got sent to Slaughterhouse 1. So if I can destroy those cameras, it will make surviving that much easier. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves a shield real fast because obviously shields are crazy useful in every version of Minecraft. We're gonna keep the shield on us for now. It will come in handy in case we get thrown into another slaughterhouse like the fighting arena one. It'll help out. Anyway, from here, it is time to destroy... What day is it? Day nine? Oh, it's almost day 10. Well, anyway, on day nine and a half, I guess, we're going into this security tower. Now, this is where Unicorn has been having access to these security cameras, so he keeps catching me. Now, he's not in there right now, and I can guarantee you that because I Ah! Looking in here, I can see I'm completely clear from this security tower. So let's teleport to the window. I can't. Oh, Captain Ed, Captain of Security. Okay, so there appears to be a Captain of Security here. Don't believe there's a way inside from up here. No, I don't think there's a way in. So I must have to go in the front door, which is guarded by these two fellas. And it also looks like, I'm going to be quick about this, but I think that's a code door. So let's teleport. Yeah, that's a code door. So there's a code, ow! There's a code lock that is blocking the security building. So if I'm going to even get into security, I'm going to need some sort of code. So I guess I'm going to start looking around for this code and seeing if I can find it. Let's go find the code. Okay, so it is day 10. I'm still looking for this code and I can't find this code pretty much anywhere yet. So I'm going to make my way actually over to the, the end barn next because we went ahead i was trying to check out unicorn space without being able to teleport around in there because the carpets i'm gonna die much faster so let's go and let's go to the ender barn so let's teleport in the back here and now we're in the ender barn and there's gotta be some places i can search around here to look for okay i don't fit up the stairs luckily i can teleport is there any sort of items up here oh i don't really see anything up here there's ender cows below but those don't really do anything let's go downstairs there is a oh okay this is an interesting little building what is this like a generator room like a little factory Chest, new security. Oh, this was the old security room. This must be the old one. So we moved the security stuff to the big tower. More secure and it overwatches the whole area. The new code is 9013. Pack your stuff up tonight and get moving. So we got the code. Now we just got to go to security and enter it in and we're good to go. Teleport, run back upstairs. So the ender barn definitely is going to have some stuff. Let's teleport on this tower. Now teleport to security. Kill the guards up front. Ow. Woo -hoo, teleport. I have to go back. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, come here, boy. Yeah, get him, boys. Get spread, spread. I hate this. Can he shoot me? Can he shoot me? You really want to go? Teleport. Oh, he missed. Oh, the guards. Okay. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ah! Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, come here. Come My sword me. and shield switch places. Follow me, boy. Go on. Get on in there. Okay, I'm in. There's already one in here. Now, a lot of you Endermen are bad apples, so I got a lot of a lot of stuff designed for um, multiples of years. But um, this one here, you got yourself a partner. Why don't you try to get on out together, all right? Let's <laughs> see if we can support a little teamwork to reform you a bit. All right, I, I got stuff to do, so you have your fun. Uh, did he say this is an Enderman co-op puzzle? It says elevator button. Hello, fellow Enderman. What happened? Oh, the ceiling opened. Okay, here, you step on that. The ceiling breaks, and I can teleport up here. Oh, now I have the floor. Um, oh, oh, I see. When you're off of it, it opens the one above it. Oh, good call. Okay, here's it. I can teleport up. Oh, I got the button. I'm on my way down. Yeah, there we go. Boom. What did that do? Oh, there's an elevator here. Okay. Look at that little co-op work we did. Okay, cool. Now we just got to do this. So here, I'll teleport there. Okay, I'll go to the next one. Uh, okay. Do I just get off? Oh, okay. You stay there. Okay, I'm going to teleport through. Yeah, and I'll do your third one. Yeah, we both made it. Yes. And now I think we go down some more. Oh, God. Okay, we got to use our teleportation, fellow Enderman. So I'm going to teleport here. Step on this. And I'm assuming I'm teleporting to that block. And then I'm teleporting to the next block. There you go. 
Oh, there we go. You did it. We got to basically move this one at a time. So I'm going to go. Come on. There we go. Now stay still. I think we got to slowly walk along. So you move up one. Yeah. Keep going. Next one. Keep going. Shifting across makes this super easy. Okay, now I just need to not die falling into this. Okay, cool. Now I would start shifting to the edge of that and just keep moving across because that way when you get when it appears, you'll just move. There we go. Yes, we're doing it. Okay, I'll teleport to this block or not. I can jump. Maybe I have to jump to it. It's okay. I can jump to it. Let me try something real quick. Oh, it's making blocks appear in between. Okay. I don't think I need them, but keep going. And then I should be able to just teleport in this room, right? Okay. I can't teleport in yet, but I'm figuring it out. There's got to be a way in. There we go. I'm in. Okay, cool. I stepped on a pressure plate. Now you should be able to teleport there and then into your room. Oh, you got in. Perfect. Okay, we're in. Now there's got to be one last thing that we have to do. Well, kind of in. You're in a red box. Wait, you're in a box. Wait, open door. Okay. No! No! Did it drop him? No! Did it just drop him into lava? Oh my god! To open the door, I had to kill him! Oh no! Buddy! I had an Enderman friend and he's now dead! Oh. Well, that makes escaping way less fun. Great. Well, I guess we're going back to the Ender Enderman farm for now. Uh... Well, that really didn't go as planned, but that's okay. Not only did we survive the slaughterhouse, but we also have the code to the security room. Now I can go and take out the security system so I don't have to worry about being caught on those dumb cameras again. Okay, day 15. Now, before I keep going, today's the day where I finally take out security, right? This is the day where I now have the code of security. I can go in and take out the cameras, but I want to be careful because up at the top, I did see that there is a guy named Big Ed who looks pretty strong. So before we go, I want to go ahead and just get some upgraded supplies. Nice and simple. And let's just see if we can find ourselves some either iron or different things we can upgrade. There we go. Here's some iron we can get. Okay, perfect. Let's head up here. We'll throw this stuff into smelt. Okay, and the iron is now done. There we go. 19 total iron. Now let's go ahead. Let's make the armor. There we go. So, boom. Full iron armor. We got a shield. We got everything we need. We are now good enough to go ahead and get out of here. So let's teleport up. And now we're going to go take out security. Teleport right over to security. And here we go. So separate the guards away. And now we're going to be quick about entering this. Here we go. Ready? 9 0 one, three, teleport. Nice, and we're in, and the door's shut, so we're safe. So now when we go up here, there's apparently someone named Captain Ed who's going to try and murder me. So I gotta have my shield out the second we go up. Ready? And go. Yep, here he is. Use my shield to my advantage. Oh, we killed him. Nice, we killed him. Oh, he dropped a Captain Ed's helmet. With access to the security room, we can better look around and see what we can find here. So right off the bat, you can see that Captain Ed was up to some really busy work. And he was also busy telling everyone to subscribe to the YouTube channel for such an awesome and amazing video that you're watching. Because man, oh man, it would really be a shame if you didn't hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray, just like this very conveniently placed Imgur link is. Okay, now back to what I was saying. So for realsies, we got to look around and see if we can find the camera monitor. There it is. And this camera monitor monitor is going to remove unicorns access to the security cameras throughout this place. Let me show you what I mean. I have access to all of the cameras in this facility. So as you can see, I can click on a number here and I gain access to a camera. And if I click like number five, you can see now I'm closer to the front of the security tower and unicorn is on his way to the security tower. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, we gotta go. Let's break out this window. Oh my God, he's literally on his way. Teleport, teleport. Oh, he literally just went in. We just got out of there just in time. Oh my God. We almost just got caught, but we survived. We didn't get caught. No slaughterhouse for us today. Yes, we are good. We are set and we have access to the cameras. So we are not going to get caught by them any longer. After disabling the cameras, I worked on my survival base for a bit and I decided I need an escape route just in case the main entrance was found. After completing the escape route, I went ahead and started looking for the code to the TNT vault. I had no luck for the first few days of looking, but I was hoping that was gonna change. Okay, so we have to find access to the vault code. So we know that the first layer of the TNT is blocked by some sort of code. And I was hoping that with security being out of the way, maybe I'd just stumble upon the code while doing all that. And it turns out it wasn't the case. Now, while we were able to successfully shut down security, we still need this vault code. And I still have no clue where it could be. So I got to begin the search now. Now, Unicorn is right there up front of security. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the other side of the map towards like Slaughterhouse 4. And I should be safe there. So let's just get up here and let's start looking around this way. I don't see Unicorn, so we're good there. Let's double check the Ender Barn. Make sure there's nothing in there. Teleport there. Teleport in. And we're in. Perfect. We're in the Ender Barn. So now we're inside. So we just have to find the code. There wasn't anything upstairs, but there is a little Easter eggs like this down to the side so we need to just look around carefully to make sure that we've checked every nook and cranny of this place to make sure that we don't get caught so this vault oh, unicorn's here oh unicorn's here Ooh, he sees me he sees me teleport uh teleport oh. wait dumb can't just teleport. teleport your problems away see he can't teleport so i just have this advantage Oof. where'd it go hey 
knock it off, or else you're getting the machine gun. Okay, look, I'm going to go ahead and let myself get caught here. Go to Slaughterhouse 3, because I don't know where this code is, and once in a while, you can find the codes only inside of Slaughterhouses. Okay, Slaughterhouse 3, I'm here. Open. So you think you're all fancy teleporting around and whatnot, huh? Come on, get down there, down there. Okay. How do you, how would you feel if you couldn't teleport anymore? Watch out! What? What do you think about that? It's a little special concoction I made. It's experimental. Yo, I'm I'm hitting I'm hitting V. I'm spamming V and I can't teleport. Now, you do me a favor and you 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 go ahead and test out my special concoction and uh, you tell me how it comes out if uh, if you come back and laugh. <laughs> okay, I can't teleport. So without the ability to teleport, that's gonna take you. Let's check these crates. Maybe there's sometimes sometimes there's goodies hidden in these things. Let's go talk to our Enderman friend. Oh, is it because my shield? No, I just can't open these gates. I, I guess I could break this block to try and free you. I'm I'm freeing you. Oh, they're electric fences. That's why. I only listen to indie underground music. I litter in public parks. I like to belittle people because I have low self. You know what? Maybe you deserve to be locked up. Never mind. I'm just going to put you back in there. Anyway, it is time to begin this slaughterhouse. Luckily, it's a parkour. Let's go ahead. Let's begin this. And let's not fall in the water and die because that would really unfortunately stink. So here we go. Wah! Now, luckily, this ender juice does give me a slight speed buff. So it should make doing this a little bit easier. Oh, ooh, water. Can I get in this? Can I get in this? Oh, I can just jump back up. Okay, we're cool. We can just jump back up and boink. There we go. Oh, what? One, two, three. And then they all disappear. Oh, I was just in time there. Got to be careful here. Jump across these pink things. Okay, made it across that. Woo, here we go. Now we're talking. What is this? Oh, I'm being shot at. Oh, God. Oh, God. Run, run. Okay, yeah, they're missing. They're missing like every shot. As long as I don't get it, I won't go in the water. Here we go. Keep going. Jump down here. Okay, quickly drink a potion. Climb quick. Don't get knocked off. Okay, there's an area I can't get past right here, so I'm gonna have to break it. Go to finish. Oh, yes, okay, we survived. Oh, we almost died on that one. We survived. Slaughterhouse 3 complete. I didn't find a code in there, but I'm just kind of glad we survived. You know what? Maybe next time, maybe next time we won't get caught. So that would be the goal. So yesterday, we obviously ended up getting caught and going to the slaughterhouse instead of finding the code. But today, we got to keep looking for that code. Now, yesterday, I checked the ender barn, and I didn't have much luck at all finding the code there. So I'm assuming that the code is not at the ender barn, meaning the next place I really got to check is Unicorn's house. Now, I actually see his nameplate right there. So he is in his house right now. So let's just go ahead and let's teleport on top. Okay, so there is a few ways in from up here. It looks like I can drop in from this side column here. Now, I want to be careful doing that because it looks like Unicorn's right down there right now. So let's go in through the front end. Entrance. Here we go. Let's get the guard's attention. Let's go inside. No, Unicorn is... Ooh, he's sitting in that chair. It sounded like he was asleep, but he's in that chair. I'm going to actually go in from this upper entrance here. I don't think this leads into the main room. If it does, I got to move quick. Oh, it does. It does. Go up here. Okay, we're upstairs. And perfect. In his bedroom. In the bedroom, there's got to be something in here we can grab. Booyah. There it is. New code. What is the new code? Got a new code for the vault. I ain't writing it down, though, for extra security purposes. The new code is the amount of hay bales, melons, and pumpkins in my basement in order, of course. Well, that means, okay, we kind of got the code. We're, we're, it's a half success. I didn't even know there was a basement to this place, but if there is, we need to find it and get to it. So hold up. Okay, there appears to be... Okay, we're going to be quick here. Ready? Teleport. Teleport. Oh, we got to go. Uh -huh. Get to the basement. Get to the basement. We're in the basement. Okay, here we go. According to the book, the number of them equals the, the code for the vault. 12 hay bales. Technically, it's 16. So there's actually 16 hay bales. There is 12 pumpkins. So 16, 12, 21. So in total, that is 16, 12, 21. And that's supposedly the... He's gone. Oh, God. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. I'm just going to teleport out. Teleport, teleport, teleport. Get to the vault. Get to the vault. Get in, get in, get in, get in. There we go. Okay, let's test our code. It was... Oh, God. Guess they can get in. 12... 21. Oh, yeah, we're in. Okay, looks like we need a key card for the second door. So we have a code, but it's not complete yet because we still need a key card to keep getting into this TNT vault. So unfortunately, that's the best we can do for right now because there's another code to get further into that TNT vault. For now, we're going to teleport our way back into the Enderman base. And uh, I guess we're going to just keep working on some mining stuff for the rest. But we went in and found the code. That's one step in the right direction. We're one step closer to getting into that TNT vault. Now that I had entered the TNT vault, I had confirmed my suspicion that there was going to be another step to getting inside. I had to find a key card. Now this key card could literally be anywhere on this map, but if I'm going to destroy this place, I have to find it. And it is day 31 right now, and it's time for us to finally go make the move on the key card after working just a little bit on... Oh, is he enderpearling around the map? Okay, well anyway, while he enderpearls around, I'm going to take this chance to keep looking for the key card. So let's go ahead, let's teleport out of our cage. Let's get on top of the TNT vault because he's teleporting around. Oh, 
There we go. On top of the TNT bolts, let's make sure we don't get seen. Now, Unicorn's over there on the Ender Farm, and we need to find a key card. Now, we found something in the Ender Farm, and we found something in Unicorn's house. I haven't seen many buildings that aren't slaughterhouses outside of the, like, the barn, the house, and security. So, I don't, I don't know where it could be. We could make our way to the barn, but I'm pretty confident the barn has nothing. We've checked out all floors of the barn, right? The second floor, I believe we went to the basement. I don't remember. Let's double check that. Let's go check the barn's basement. I don't remember what it was, but... Oh, this was old security, right? Okay, this was just old security. So I know it's not here. I mean, it's got to be Unicorn's house, right? I just, I really have no other clue where this key card could be. So let's see if we... Ah! Uh, ha! Come here. Come okay. here, boy. Boy, I don't want to get shot. Um, come on. Follow me. So we'll see what this is about here. All right. Come here, boy. Now listen. Hold on. Okay. Whoa. All right. Take care of him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't you use your little teleporting power? <laughs> All right, now listen here, boy. I've been taken to the skies because I've been, been very short-handed on security lately. And I saw you wandering around, and now you got to go through my slaughterhouse number four. What do you feel about that, huh? Oh, you going to cry? Go. You going to cry under tears? I'm walking into the slaughterhouse. I'm not going to hear his patronizing. Way, okay. Way. Okay, it looks like Slaughterhouse 4 is some sort of maze. And based on what I saw up here, there's some sort of blocks I need to actually... Oh, to get out. Let's figure that out now. I guess we'll just go through the maze for a sec. I'm luckily pretty good at mazes. Here we go. Oh, wait, there's a button. Let's go. Okay, we're good. Maybe I can teleport to the bottom. Oh, that's way easier. Here we go. Another... Oh, God. Is this an invisible maze? It is. I, I'm in an invisible maze. Okay, great. This way, this way, up this way, over... Okay, we made it. I got it. Okay, so we just have to find the third part of this maze, wherever it might be. Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Third part of the maze. Here we go. What do I got to do here? Oh, there's a concrete there. I think each of these is an individual puzzle that's going to open up the layer so I can get to the end here. So let's give this a shot. So let's hit this lever. He gets dropped in. Hit this lever, but cutting off the water in the other direction. That'll shove him down here and shove him right on onto the pressure plate, breaking the first set of glass. Perfect. Now we just got to go ahead and do this concrete thing. These are pretty difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I, the only trick I see I can do is this. But it does like, I, what? Oh, no, I did it. <gasps> Two hours later. There we go. Finally, we did it. Okay. Then we push it and then we got to do the same thing again. And there we go. We moved it to the next. Now we're going to grab it. It'll fall down here. We push it, hit this button. We lift it back up, grab it and pull it. There we go. This button, this button, this button. Yeah, that worked. Pull it here, push it there, and push it there, and it should be broken. Perfect, and now it's done. And now we have completed it. We have all three blocks that we just need to bring to the entrance of this maze. Here we go, we're at the entrance. Now let's put the blocks in their place. Finally, block three in place, and the front gate is now open, so we can go back to the Enderman area. After completely failing to find the key card and getting sent to Slaughterhouse 4, I decided to check some of the slaughterhouses in case the key card was possibly hidden inside. I really had no idea where this thing was, and even though I didn't find the key card, I did learn a little bit about a couple of the slaughterhouses. I now know that Slaughterhouse 7 appears to be some sort of race, and Slaughterhouse 8 appears to be a dropper challenge. So we'll see how I do against those. But for now, back to getting this key card. Okay, so we are on day 36 as we speak. I still gotta find the key card that's gonna let me into that vault. Well, that's not good. He's just standing in front of me. Okay, well, that's no worries. That's not a big deal. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna use this chance to keep looking for the key card. I actually have a pretty good idea where it could be. So one place I haven't been, teleport here, teleport here, teleport there. And look, so we can actually get to the outside wall of this place. Now, does this mean we could technically go like this? and escape yes but that's cheating and it wouldn't be a hundred day challenge if i got out of here before day 100 so that's why also part of this challenge is not just escaping but destroying this ender pearl shop but guess what i haven't searched the ender pearl shop it's very possible that the key card could legitimately just be in here i haven't even looked yet and i wouldn't be surprised seeing as i've searched unicorn's house and that was easy. So apparently, we got the key card. I had a feeling it was going to be in there because I've checked everywhere else around the map. It was sort of through process of elimination. It had to be there, which is great because we can now get into the second layer of the TNT vault. So let's go into the pit, see if Unicorn's still there. He is. I could try and teleport past him, but there's the possibility he hears it comes inside and I get busted. So I'm just going to wait for him to leave. Okay, so we can finally bring this key card over to the TNT vault. Day 37. Let's do it. Teleport in, put in the code, and it was. We're gonna go ahead and swipe the key card. We're in, and 
What? Okay. Oh, is that TNT? Oh, we're one door away from TNT. Once we have the TNT, we are literally capable of destroying this farm. And then it's about just surviving till day 100. So we're getting really close here to getting to the final thing I need, which is that TNT to blow up the front gate. Using a fake circuit will result in immediate death. So it looks like I need three circuits to put in between here, which is going to open this door. Or that's kind of the idea I'm getting out of it. Let's go ahead. Let's head back out because it looks like we need to find three circuits. Unfortunately, we don't, we can't get in yet, but we're super close. We just need to find the three remaining circuits, which could be anywhere, but I'm going to start my search today. Maybe I'll find something. Who knows? So it appears I need three circuit blocks to open the final part of the TNT vault. Now, I've already searched this place several times over at this point, and I haven't found any circuit blocks. So either I'm just really blind, or there are still areas I don't know about. Either way, I got to find these things, so I've got to do a lot more searching. Okay, so I have still not found these circuit circuits anywhere like there's apparently three here but i haven't found any so we're gonna keep looking here and i'm gonna go check out unicorn's house a little bit more in depth oh depth to perfect i don't think he's coming teleport past past there we go nice okay so let's go to unicorn's house let's make our way inside we know he's not here so we just teleport there okay so we went ahead and we've already seen upstairs it's his house we've checked the basement but we haven't like looked around the basement like look at all these chests and stuff i'll take root beer what is this soggy note this could be it i told you to make a different code for each chest, but not the same, especially something guessable as 54321. You're putting all my treasures at thing. I'm gonna, Excuse me. Uh, think you're doing down here? Um, I, I thought I heard something whiz by over my head. Get go, go on over here. Uh, there's nowhere I can even teleport here. I'm taking you in. Son. Oh, here we go. Caught for Slaughterhouse 5. Oh, 5's over here. Okay. All right, go down. All right, listen here. This is uh, one of my intelligence training modules that I had to install because of the investors. Go ahead and you try to solve this or uh, die trying, all right? <laughs> Specifically starving. All right, see you later. Let's go ahead. Let's solve this puzzle. So it looks like I have to almost hit these pressure plates as the redstone signal is coming around. So let's hit this button. Step on this one. Step back on blue. Oh, I'm going to have to teleport around, aren't I? Okay, here we go. Step on blue. Teleport. Step on red. Teleport. Step on blue. T teleport step on green teleport step on red no we lost it okay here we go blue red blue green red green boom yes look at that it kind of destroyed the floor but i'm sure that's fine okay what am i doing in here can i go up this ah i think i'm supposed to teleport there we go we got it now something's happening while i'm doing this oh it opened that okay cool that's open so now i can go in this teleport up there hit this button Oh, I heard something happen. I heard a block noise. Oh, heck yeah. Maybe I can just like teleport through the wall or something. No. Oh, hey, that worked. Okay. So then maybe I have to go over here. Yeah, look at that. So I can teleport through the ceiling to get to different areas here. And I need to find my way through doing that. That is, that is difficult. Okay, we can teleport through up here. What's this button? Oh, we did it. That was it. That was the slaughterhouse. Oh, yes. There we go. Yes. And that means we have survived another slaughterhouse. Uh, but we still don't have any circuits. So, uh, yeah. Day 47. I really don't know what to make of it. We found a soggy note that gives us pretty much no useful information except for a code being 54321. But I don't need a code. So I really don't know what that would be to. Wait a minute. Hold on. 54321. Oh! It was for this chest! I knew it! Yes, 54321, and we have ourselves a god apple. Anyway, we're still looking for the circuits. Unicorn's over there, so I'm gonna actually teleport right in the ender barn. Okay, I wanna keep looking for these circuits. I know they have to be somewhere. Now, I've checked around the ender barn pretty thoroughly, and I haven't found it yet. I've even tried to kill these cows, but they don't drop anything, and they just respawn, so they're they're kind of useless. No, don't run. Be my friend. Be my friend. I wanna pet you. But yeah, so the ender cows are pretty useless overall. You can see that, like, you can talk to them. This guy, for wheat, for ender milk. So they give you ender milk, which isn't overly useful. This guy, because I hit him, won't even trade me anymore. Let's go check these other two out. And this guy also wants me to trade five diamonds for us was that there a second ago am i blind or was that there the whole time i'm actually dumbfounded um well i found a circuit but i just need five diamonds to get it i have talked to this cow before <laughs> okay let's go mine i guess so we can find five diamonds and quickly find the five diamonds we need trade the under cow and then we can get our first circuit yay so yeah it turns out i can trade the ender cow in the barn for the first circuit no wonder i couldn't find these things anywhere anyway i went mining for diamonds since that's what the cow wants 
wanted, which surprisingly took a lot longer than normal. Like I usually can get like 20 diamonds in a day, but it took me four days just to find 10 diamonds. Like I only found two veins of ore total, but at least I found the diamonds I needed. Okie dokie, day 53, nice and beautiful. We finally have enough diamonds to trade dumb cow at the ender barn for their circuit. That took longer than anticipated. That is the slowest 10 diamonds I've ever gotten in my life. Getting this window here, point over to the cow, which I believe was this cow. Let's give him a trade. Booyah, we lost five diamonds, but we still not only have five diamonds, but we also have the first circuit for the TNT bolt. So we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the TNT bolt and put our circuit one in place. So circuit one goes on the end. We probably wanna put it in place right there. And boom, you can see we lit up circuit one, but we still need circuit two and circuit three to open this door. So let's get out of here and go back to our base because we luckily were able to find it. Now it is already nighttime of uh, apparently of day 53. Was I mining for that long in day 53? I thought day 53 just started, but I guess not. We, we got it. We got the first circuit. We still got to keep looking for the rest of the circuits. And uh, yeah, after obtaining the first circuit, I needed to enter the TNT vault. I kept looking around for more. However, I didn't find any other circuits anywhere, meaning the only only lead I have left is a code that I found in Unicorn's basement earlier. It doesn't say what it's for exactly, but seeing as I have no other leads, I started looking for different places to test this code. Day 63, we're doing great. We have the first circuit in place. We just need two more, and we still have over 30 days remaining in this challenge, so we still got plenty of time to try and access that TNT. First things first is I've been trying to find different code areas where I can test the dummy code that I found in the soggy note in Unicorn's basement. In the other tower, that I went to, there was a code chest that I opened and it didn't have much. It simply had this golden apple. But if I go up here, look, there's another one. And it also opens to this code and it was full of diamonds and gold. Now I didn't grab it for the sake of the shot, but like, come on, look at that. 18 gold, 14 diamonds. That's just gonna work out great. Now I'm stuck in this cage. How do I get out? Uh-huh. Uh, you seem to have found yourself in a little predicament there. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> was he up there? No, he was not up there these the whole little, time. These little end pearls that you you boys will drop uh, sure are a thing, aren't they? Now, listen, I could let bygones be bygones, but you obviously got to go through one of my trials. <laughs> so why don't you come on out and follow me? Okay, we're going to Slaughterhouse 6. Now, I'm no not, funny business. I don't think there's any funny business going on. Anyway, here we go. Slaughterhouse 6. Now, I've had a recent infestation down here, uh, so you'll have to mind all the mites. All right, but... Uh, all you gotta do is get to the other side and not get eaten alive by your ankles. Sound good? All right, you have fun. See you later. Not get eaten by my ankles? I was gonna say, can I just go back up? No, we blocked off the elevator. Darn it. Okay, these are endermite spawners, it looks like. Okay, I gotta figure out what's going on here. Go up this, go up this. Oh, there's a button. Okay, so these platforms appear and it does a bunch of clicks before going ding, 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 and then letting go. So here we go, let's try it. Here we go, ready? Oh, we've gotta teleport, what am I doing? Okay, where am I teleporting from here? No! Oh, it's that cage! Oh, so close! And boom, we're in. Apparently, we're not done yet. Okay, let's jump across. Oh, there's invisible walls! Can't go that way. So it's like an invisible jump maze. Still can't go either of these directions. Okay, this is tough. Don't think I didn't keep going. We gotta be careful going fast here, because I could easily fall. Then we can do this. Oh, we're making great time now. Then we can do this. Oh, then, but that brings us to a wrong point, so that's incorrect. And boom, we did it. Finished course. Nice. That was nice and easy. Of all the courses, that was definitely the easiest. And wow, did we survive it. And a nice teleporting course to get us through the day. And then that's another slaughterhouse down the drain. After surviving Slaughterhouse 6, I continued looking around for places that I could test the code out that I had found. I found a totem of the dying inside another lock chest, but that was the only one I could find during this time. I wasn't going to give up though, because I had a gut feeling that this code had to be used somewhere else. Okay, so we now need to go ahead and keep testing this code. We found the totem there, we found something there, and we found another chest over there. That's three. So that had diamonds and gold, and that uh, had the golden apple. So we're doing great. The question is, are there any more lock chests around that could contain a circuit? The answer is yes. I'm kind of dumb and forgot about one. Let me show you what I mean. There was a locked chest in the security room and I forgot completely about it. And guess what? I bet this is going to work. It's ah! It's literally been here the whole time. We have the second circuit. It's been there. Let's go ahead and put this in place, but that means we only need one circuit left to complete this challenge. And then we have the TNT. So let's go ahead. Let's do this. Put circuit two in its place alongside circuit one. And then we just need circuit three. And this challenge is complete. 
complete. So we're super close. And with that, let's go back to the base and keep looking for this last circuit. So that worked out great. I found the second circuit and now we only needed one more. And after a little bit of searching, I found out that I could actually see the third and final circuit behind a door in Unicorn's basement. The problem is the door is blocked by a key card reader. And I don't know where I can find that key card yet. So of course, there is one more step blocking me from completing this challenge. But I gotta do what I gotta do. And with that in mind, it's time to get that final circuit. Okay, so it is time. We gotta keep looking for a way to get to circuit three. I don't know where it could exactly be. I just know it's somewhere. So uh, let's go find that key card. Now, seeing as it's locked in Unicorn's house, there's still a few places I haven't looked too thoroughly. And I would say that the place that really needs more looking is Unicorn's upstairs area. Can I get into this upstairs area? Maybe I can get up here. Hold, let's, let, let's teleport around up here. Let's see where we can get to here. Okay, it looks like there's no real way into Unicorn's base except for the front door and that little side thing I found. So let's go back over this way. So let's go down here and we need to get to his upstairs area. So we just got to do it without getting caught. Oh, he's coming down right now. Teleport out. Ooh. Okay, we got out. He was coming down really fast. Let's go down. He's right down there right below. So let's just eat a speed potion. Oh no, he's in the basement. He's in the basement. We can use it. We can do this. Okay, teleport here. Go upstairs. Okay, now we just got to look around any sort of clue. Okay, there's nothing in the bathroom. Oh, he's right there. Take tower. <laughs> Did he see that? Oh no, he saw me. He saw me. I tried to work. Hide, 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 hide. hide. <laughs> Where'd you go, you barbie? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. You came to my house. You have the audacity to spy on me while I'm taking a shower. I cannot <laughs> believe not, you. That was not my goal. My goal was not to spy on you in the shower. I thought I had a free chance. I am flattered, but I, I am. Oh my god. I, I'm a taken man. You. You cannot do these things to me. Oh, my God. Come goodness. along. Okay, where are we going? Slaughterhouse <laughs> what at this point? I don't even know what we're on at this point. Six, seven, eight. I don't know. It's one of those three. This is uh, this is one of my race courses I put together because I've been having so many bad Endermen. You are the worst of all, mind you. How can peeping you tell I look like all the other one? Oh, well, I peeping guess he, Tom, he just thinks people. I'm a peeping Tom, right? Get, get inside. Get inside. I'm going to go gather up the others. Okay, just waiting for- Oh, there right. they are! Speak of the devil! I brought some of the meanest, baddest Endermen here to this race-off. And I hope you noticed that I said race-off. Because y'all are gonna be racing to the day. There's plenty of items, traps, and whatnot to help you, so uh, just do what you can to kill each other, alright? Okay. Well, then I'll count down the race. When I say go, we begin. In three, two, one, go! Okay, so if you die in this death race, you lose the challenge. So the whole goal is to do just sort of be the last one standing. So you see I'm teleporting around. Now if I step on this, it gives me a bow. Now I can use this bow to shoot one of the other Endermen. So let's teleport back. Wait for him to teleport. Boom. Oh, he shot him. He didn't get a knockback. Okay, we'll have to go up here. Step on this. What did that do? Spawn more Endermites? Good. As long as I'm spawning things in their way. Teleport through here and I can finish the first lap. But let's go at... Actually, let's see if we can catch up to them. God, I don't even know how many are left yet. But I need to make sure that all of these guys die. I see two left. I see two left. Here we go. Ready? And... Oh, see you later, son. Okay, we got the bow again. Let's catch up to this guy. There we go. Set the TNT off. Teleport. Boom. Yeah! <laughs> it worked! It worked! Yes! And I'm the last person in this race. Let's teleport back and we have survived. Yeah, decent job out there you did. Why don't you head on back to your pen, all right? Yep, and I gladly will. That is a victory if I'd say so myself. Okay, so we have to find... We still got to find a key card. I don't know where this key card could be. I've checked Unicorn's house somewhat. I've checked the Ender Barn to completion. I've checked the Ender Pearl shop outside to completion. I mean, the only place it could really be is Unicorn's house. Unless it's somewhere I can't find yet. But, like, I just don't know where that would be. So, I'm going to teleport into Unicorn's house again. Well, let's go check out the basement and the upstairs again. So, I know in the basement, this is where Circuit 3 is. I, I've checked all these chests, and there is nothing here. So, let's go up. <gasps> Unicorn's here. Unicorn's here. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Maybe I can teleport to his side, and he won't notice, and then teleport upstairs. Oh, no. He can't place it. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work at all. Oh, no. That we really... A, a real problem with you Endermen just kind of teleporting around. You think you own this place? Uh, Unbelievable. Enderman Come noises, me. I guess? I'll tell you what. No Enderman I said in here comes out alive. What is this? <laughs> no. No. Not Dropper. Oh, and that's so hard. Here we go. Whoop. Oh, what is this? Why is it? I didn't take any fall damage. We beat it and we hit this button. We should be back up. So that's the first one complete. Now it's also gated off. Now we have to do a second one. Oh, don't fall in. Oh, we didn't die from it. Oh, we are on half a heart. Here we go. Yes. 
Ooh, Joker box. If you're reading this, I have perished. I was caught while looking for a way out and sent here. I feel down and broke my leg, and now I can't teleport. Stop the madness. The farmer said he left a key card in Slaughterhouse 10, and that it's impossible to get. Do with that what you can. Also, he totally showers with his clothes on. Weird, right? A dying Enderman Kyle. The key card we need to get to the final circuit is in Slaughterhouse 10. Second dropper complete. I mean, I didn't really complete it because I kind of hit every obstacle, but at least we didn't die. That's kind of the kind of the point for me is not to die. I don't really care if I do it fairly. This looks tough. We're we're gonna try it though. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. The totem. The totem saved my life. Oh, the totem saved my life. Because of that totem, we survived and have completed the dropper. Oh, thank God for that. We have all three complete. We can get back out and we can go back to our Enderman house because we officially know where to get the key card. After surviving Slaughterhouse 8 because of my totem, I learned that the key card I needed to continue this challenge could only be obtained by going to Slaughterhouse 10. So I did a bit more research and it turns out that Slaughterhouse 10 is a battle against the Ender Dragon. Not like an NPC Ender Ender dragon that farmer unicorn made they're like no the legit ender dragon meaning that to beat this thing i was gonna need some much upgraded gear okay so it is day 85 i still need that key card and i know the only way to get it is inside of Slaughterhouse 10 where I have to take on the Ender Dragon. To, to take on the Ender Dragon, I'm gonna need way better gear. So I'm gonna be making my way over to Slaughterhouse 7 to basically go take the bows that I was able to get in this race. Every time I step on this, I get a bow. Now this bow's durability is negative three, but if I combine it, I should get, I lose the punch too, but it looks like I slowly can upgrade this bow. Let's see if this works. Yep, and I can slowly get a bow with more and more durability by doing this. So let's keep stepping here. This is a dirty trick. I don't normally get this dirty with tricks, but if I have to fight the actual Ender Dragon, I'm going to play pretty dirty here. Okay, so that is all of the... Oh. Excuse me, did I bring you in here? Oh, get on over here, come on. We have to go through the Down slaughterhouses, here. so we might as well just get Slaughterhouse 9 done with here. I wasn't planning on doing it today, but that's fine. Okay, all right, get on in there. Let's see what this is about. Oh, great. It looks like another massive maze with monsters in it, lava, and different things. Great. This is exactly what I wanted to do with my day. We just need to find an end to this maze. Open glass barrier. There must be a glass barrier somewhere because I just opened it. I have to get, I think, right there. That must be the exit. The question is, how do I do that? It looks like I can get to that cage. I have to really get on that side. So let me see. So if I go over here, teleport there, teleport there, go this way. Oh, boom, we found it. And I'm guessing there was a glass barrier here, but it's removed, so I win. Easy. You can't touch me, farmer unicorn. There we go. Another slaughterhouse completed in a super record amount of time. And with that, it is time to go, well, time to honestly get some upgraded gear and then go to slaughterhouse 10. But first, we got to do some upgrades, so... Uh, yeah. Now that I am past Slaughterhouse 9, I went ahead and mined for diamonds and other stuff that would allow me to upgrade my gear further. I was able to not only find enough diamonds for full diamond armor, but I was also able to make an enchantment table so that I could get my gear even more strong. Now with all that in mind, it was time to get ourselves caught and sent to Slaughterhouse 10. Okay, so it is day uh, 91, 90, 93. Ni I knew that. Anyway, it is time to go ahead and get our diamond stuff enchanted and there we go now we should have enough gear to take on this ender dragon but it is not going to be easy i need to go to slaughterhouse 10 i'm gonna go to unicorn's house get in his house take his bed do i have something to damage the ender dragon with? so let's go in here oh no he has a fancy bed not a minecraft bed okay well that's not gonna work then we need regular minecraft beds is there any wool here is this floor wool his floor is wool now we got that so now we need to find logs to turn these into beds we need wood we need wood and stat nine ten we got a floating tree but you know what we're so close to the end i don't care enough 10 beds acquired plenty of inventory space plenty of food we got the god apple it's time to get ourselves caught and sent to slaughterhouse 10 where's unicorn at i saw him a little second ago so let me just oh i see him i see him whoa 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 hold on the guards what stop right here. there stop moving what are you gonna do about Where's it you? go super speed ow oh! dang troublesome enderman you think you could just come out of your pen like that that's it and he's getting kind of hungry yep here we go here we go slaughterhouse so, 10 uh, you know what? Conveniently enough, I don't feel like running around anymore because you get really made me run around a lot. Why don't you just get on in there? Go on. Shoot. Okay, here we go. We jump in. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought that. Okay, it's those blocks. To get out and to get this key card, I have to defeat Endy the Ender Dragon. Okay, we're here in the end. The Enderman should leave me alone, I think. We got to go around and we got to destroy the different pillars that this Ender Dragon has, right? So let's destroy this one. Nice. Now let's teleport up there. And we should be able to take them out one at a time doing this trick. Got to get it in that little crack. Oh, it's going to be tough. Destroyed that one. Destroyed that one. Okay, let's go to, Let's go over this way. Get on this. We got to destroy this one. I can't destroy it like this. Here we go. Shoot our bow. 
That worked. That worked. We're burning. Quickly. Eat, 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 eat. We got him. They're all gone. Now we just gotta bed this guy. Here we go. Ready? Okay, I gotta build a platform that I can put the beds on. So let's get the wood here. Oh! Oh, we're gonna have to teleport here. Here we go. Ready? Okay, we gotta do that again. That's exactly what we have to do. Okay, let's get a little closer. Come on. Bed. There we go. Ooh! Whoop! Oh, one heart! Dives by dive bombs. Like that is nuts. Okay, let's just place a bed and let's see if we can hurt him. Well, that did way more damage. We gotta hit, we gotta hit this teleport. Yes! Okay, let's get another bed placement there. We place it near his head. It's doing more damage. Nice, he missed. There we go. His head's right here. Where'd the bed go? Are you kidding me? It's despawning my beds. It's legitimately desp- I have one bed left. Here we go. Land, place, blow it up. There we go. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt, baby. Huh. Yeah, that's a hit. Only a few more of those and this guy's done. He's dive bombing. Here we go. Yeah, you go ahead and you do that. You land there. Okay, that's not gonna hurt him, but I can just go right here. Come on. Teleport. We almost have him. We almost have him. Come on, just get in there. Yes! 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 I will see you later, Under Dragon. Drop all the XP. Drop it all while I just slowly uh, burn to death. Yes! And we have done it! Okay, perfect. And he is dead. We got the egg. We got a key card. We got tons of XP. Let's head back and let's finish off 100 days as an Enderman. After defeating the Ender Dragon and getting that key card, I now had all the items that I needed to access the TNT Vault. The TNT is all I need to not only escape this place, but will also allow me to destroy the Ender Pearl Shop, finishing this farm off for good. And with that in mind, it was time for the final heist. So it is day 99, the final day. Time to finish off this heist. We got the key card. We got all our gear. Let's make our way to Unicorn's basement with this key card and grab the last circuit we need to access the TNT. Now, Unicorn, of course, is in there. We'll go through the ceiling again. Looks like he's going upstairs. He is. Perfect. Teleport right down there. And down the stairs we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're in the basement. There it is. Circuit three. Open that up. Teleport out. Now we just have to get into the TNT vault. Go ahead and put circuit three in its place. The door opens. We teleport inside. Gotta find a spot that we can teleport. There we go. Oh my God. Look at all the TNT. We're actually gonna place TNT as a chain throughout. So we're gonna put TNT like kind of close to this entrance there. Put some in this room here. Build this room full of TNT. And the second we get this door open, it's gonna set it off and we gotta start going. 21. TNT's launched. Teleport. Get away. Get away. Get away. Watch it. Watch it. And there goes the TNT vault. All oh, oh, he's off. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He oh, kill the guard. Kill the guard. There we go. You. You did. Well being able to teleport, there's almost nothing he can do to stop me. Let's head to the front gate and blow this up so we can get out of here. Quickly get a TNT plate around here. Set it off. Oh, he's coming. Oh, put our shield up. Put our shield up. Go, 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 go. Teleport. Okay, this is the end of Pearl Shop. We just need to get in here and blow this up. Okay, let's start at the end. Start at the back. Here we go. Put some TNT there to get over. TNT there to get over. Okay, now let's let's set this place off. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Place it all. Place it all. Place it all in this front entrance. We've got to be getting close. We're almost done. We're almost done. Like a little bit more. One, two. Oh, that's a stack. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, we're setting off. We're setting off. Go, run. Teleport. Teleport. Is going to destroy this room? Yes, it is! The Ender Pearl shop is no more! This shop is toast! In fact, I'm going to even... Oh, it's gone. Oh, this shop is toast. It is day 99. We can go ahead and teleport our way to freedom in this world. Let's go over to this mountain over here. Let's climb to the top of this. And boom, over in this nice mountain with this beautiful backdrop. We are going to go ahead and wait for day 100. Okay, I don't see the stars anymore in the sky. That's a good sign we're getting close here. Once this orange like completely fades away, that's when it's day 100. The sun's in the sky. You're starting to see that orange fade and it is day 100! Meaning we have successfully completed this 100 day challenge. And with that, everyone, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye guys!